Uh, thank you all for being here today. I uh, found out earlier today this is actually Tulsa's 119th birthday today. Uh, this is the day where, right? Yeah. And that's why we're here, so thanks for coming by. Uh, um, where, no. where are the gifts? We're here yeah. for the gifts. Uh, this, uh, this, on this day, 119 years ago, uh, a judge signed the order allowing the city of Tulsa to incorporate back in 1898. And now here we are, 119 years later, and I feel like we are continuing that spirit, that tradition that built this city up in that first 119 years. And that was always a focus on leaving the city better for the next generation. Uh, and we have spent the last several years working uh, to develop the Vision Tulsa Initiative, which uh, voters overwhelmingly approved last April. A and then, uh, since that time, the last nine months, a great deal of hard work has been done by the staff here at the City of Tulsa. It's, a, it's an unusual program compared to a lot of the programs that the city's done in the past because there's such a, a broad range of projects inside of it. I mean, you have everything from a, a world-class museum and a low-water dam that's being built uh, to neighborhood enhancement projects and everything in between. And so that puts a tremendous amount of work and has on our engineering department and they've done just a tremendous job in the last nine months of visiting with each of our funding partners to find out what their schedules were for their projects, what they needed it, what they needed and when they needed it. And then uh, our finance department stepped in to find out, based on very conservative estimates, uh, when we could expect money to be coming in uh, and how you then combine those two schedules together in a way that really maximizes the opportunity for economic development, which was the purpose uh, of the Vision, uh, Vision Tulsa initiative. Uh, we have been working as a team uh, between the mayor's office and the city council throughout that time uh, to put that schedule together and are very excited to announce it today. Uh, you should have a copy of it or will shortly, and as you'll see uh, in the first five years, we believe that 80% of the projects uh, can be completed and funded. Uh, the vision tax, as you'll remember, kicked in on January 1 of this year. We expect the funds to start coming on uh, to us from the Oklahoma Tax Commission in April. Um, but you will see these projects begin in earnest uh, after those funds begin to arrive and with the deadline or the goal of having 80% of them done uh, in the next five years. Uh, we think this is very important uh, to try to do as many of these early as we can so that the citizens of Tulsa are enjoying the economic development ripple effect that you're going to see as a result of this. And I'll give you one example and then I would really appreciate our council chair to, uh, to share a few comments. Um, the, the BOK Center, when it was constructed, was thought to be a, a fairly expensive project and it was uh, bonded up front so that it could be opened uh, earlier than it would have taken if we had tried to do a, a pay-as-you-go approach. That facility opened and in the uh, years subsequent to it opening since that time, uh, you've seen over $900 million in investment in downtown Tulsa triggered by the completion of the BOK Center. We believe that there are projects in this program that have equal, if not greater, opportunity to make an impact on our city, and so it's incumbent upon us to do these as quickly uh, and effectively as we can. And I'd like to introduce kind of the leader of, of my partners in all of this, the City Council, uh, who's been working very hard to try and balance all of these priorities, so Councilor America. Uh, thank you. Uh, as Mayor Bynum said, uh, we're so pleased to be where we are today, and uh, honestly, I think it surprised all of us. We started this process kind of bracing ourselves. Every project on this list we thought was important or it wouldn't have been on the list, but I think we all expected that we were going to have to, when we sit down and really started looking at the numbers, we were going to have to say, your important project is not going to get funded until year eight, and your important project until year 10 or year 12. And it was an incredible, uh, we just really can't state enough the amount of time and work that went in, especially from the engineering and finance departments, but really 
you see up here, in addition to the council and the mayor, some of the representatives from some of our partners out in the community who are building these projects. I mean, hours and hours of meeting and sort of figuring out when, can, when do you need the money for engineering, when do you need it for this to work out the ideal timelines. And then the finance department to figure out how do you finance that in a way that, as the mayor said, not only allows us to do this a lot faster, allows us to do it a lot more cost effectively because the value of a dollar today or in two years is a lot more than that dollar will be in 10 or 15 years. So we're going to get these things happening faster. We're going to, as the mayor said, generating revenue to come back in and, and you know, support other efforts in the city. So we're very pleased at all of that. And I'm such a geek. This is the kind of stuff they make fun of me because I love this. It's the boring stuff. This is the flashy thing. We get to hand you this list or we have the big project. But the hours and hours and hours of just going through numbers and meeting with all these people, that is really what good government is about. I mean, that is being good stewards of the money. So we just you know, can't thank and praise enough the people who have put in the boring legwork to make sure. So we can, we can deliver this to Tulsa. And... In within a matter of a couple of months, we will be breaking ground on some of these projects, and it's going to be, I think, a really good thing for the entire city. Thanks. All right. Uh, and you know, it is, it, this is really another key step in the process. As I mentioned earlier, we really started working in earnest on this uh, th over three years ago uh, when we started having task forces meet to talk about what should be in it. Of course, the citizens approved it last April. Today we're announcing an implementation plan for it. Moving forward, uh, we are pulling together an advisory uh, group that will help really provide oversight and, and input uh, from different leaders throughout our community, providing insight and input into the, the development of these individual projects. You know, we're talking about a 40,000 foot level view today, uh, but each of these projects, some of them very complex, we want to continue to have that same spirit and focus of open uh, community involvement in their development. So this won't be the last you'll be hearing about that approach moving ahead. But you know, we're talking so much about the plan and about development. I think it's also important to take a step back and remember what Tulsa is going to look like five years from now with these projects underway. I mean, five years from now, we will have changed the way that people use the Arkansas River in Tulsa. We will have a lake that people can use for recreation, something people haven't enjoyed in Tulsa since many of our grandparents and great-grandparents were children. Uh, we will be the home to an Olympic sport. Uh, we will have a museum that is worthy of the greatest collection of Western art anywhere in the world. We will have changed the way that the city works with our schools and we will have given our local schools the tools to recruit and retain teachers that no other city in the state of Oklahoma has at its disposal. And that's just four or five things in a long list of really game-changing projects. So uh, I, I want to echo again what Council America had to say about just the tremendous work that our team at the city has done to pull this together. Uh, for you, we'll, we'll break up now, but we have up here obviously uh, our members of the city council, and then we have also leaders from different projects, uh, individual projects, if you'd like to visit with them about the implementation of their individual projects. A number of them are, well, all of them, I think, I'm biased, but I think are terribly exciting. Uh, <laughs> but please, it'll be available for individual interviews. Uh, Councilor Peters and I are not announcing anything on the jail today, so <laughs> we'll about that. <laughs> Commissioner Peters. All right. Well, thank you all for being here, and we'll stick around after this. Thanks a lot.